Hey there do-it-yourself technicians. Today I'm going to teach you all you need to check into a Services Victoria check-in point. While we are fighting COVID-19 it is now mandatory to check into all Victorian businesses using a QR code or a manual system for contact tracing purposes. I'm not going to get into the politics or the privacy concerns around this. This is purely a how-to for those that struggle with the technology, because that's what I'm here for. I'm going to demonstrate this on an iPhone, but the process is the same on Android, using the Play Store instead of the App Store. On your phone, go to the App Store. Down the bottom right, click Search. Type in Services Victoria, and then press Search. It's the app with the orange background and the white triangle and the word Service on it. Click Get. You may need to sign into your Apple account at this point using your username and password or just click install to approve. On some newer phones you can even just double tap the power button. Once confirmed the app will download and then install. When the button switches to say open it's ready. To open the first time you can just press the open button Next time, you'll just press the orange icon that's been added to your phone's home screen, possibly on the last page. There are three welcome screens where the app introduces some of the things that it can do for you, then has some privacy notes, and finally, a screen telling you that services will be added and improved over time. Click Let's Go at the bottom. Now, we want the blue-green button at the bottom that says Contact Tracing Check-In. Next, we have to allow the app access to the camera. Otherwise, there's no way for it to read the QR code. Next, you need to hold your phone over the QR code until it appears fairly straight and square on the screen and hold it as steady as you can. The system is pretty good at detecting the QR code to the point where I actually had a lot of trouble taking this screenshot without scanning the code. If you can't get it to scan, there's a manual option at the bottom of the screen where you can type in a six letter or number code for the location you're in. The final step is to add your contact details. You need a first name, a last name, and a phone number. Then you can press the orange check in to this location button. There's a confirmation screen and also an option to save your details for later. This just saves you putting in your names and phone number again next time. There's an option to give feedback at the end or skip. And then a thank you screen. Press done and you are finished until you go to the next place. It's a little painful, but to be really honest, once you get used to it, it only takes 30 seconds to a minute each time. And it might be a great help tracking who was at a particular location if we have another outbreak. Question of the day. Are you confident in checking out now? Let me know in the comments down below. And if this video was useful, give it a thumbs up. Thank you so much. The Tech Doctor exists to help you become your own technician learn about the technology, protect yourself from the bad guys, and fix it when it breaks. If you're watching this on YouTube, there's some older videos you may not have seen before here and here, and you can subscribe to the channel by clicking down here or to our mailing list by clicking up here. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day, and I'll see you on the next episode.